a personal perspective about a political difference of opinion that turned into a personal attack on me by Miami Beach Commissioner Jonah Wolfson. He and his political action committee ran this full page ad in the Herald twice this week calling me sleazy, unethical journalist. Now he can say whatever he wants of course, he's entitled to his own opinion as they say, but not to his own facts. Here are the facts. Commissioner Wolfson has been strong-arming city vendors, developers, lobbyists, business owners for the last few months to donate to his political action committee, which is called Relentless for Progress, same initials as Request for Proposal, the term government uses to solicit business. Wolfson has raked in over a million dollars. The commissioner is doing this despite a Miami Beach ordinance that specifically prohibits giving money to commission or mayoral candidates directly or indirectly, and the money for this PAC will reportedly go to help three commission candidates. On this program and in a Herald op-ed piece I wrote, I called all of this sleazy, stinky, didn't pass the smell test. It absolutely does not. In response, Commissioner Wilson took out this whole page ad calling me sleazy and unethical. He also says I've heard his fundraising efforts. Oh, I certainly hope I did. The Miami Beach City Attorney issued an opinion saying the Commissioner's PAC somehow doesn't violate the law, perhaps, but it's still wrong, unethical, and it stinks. I invited Commissioner Wilson to come on our show today, look me in the eye, look you in the eye, defend what he has done, sit here, and say in person what he said in his Herald ad. Well, he said he would come, but only if I apologize to him first on the air. That's not going to happen. I have nothing to apologize for. The fact that the husband of my friend and colleague, Lena Milberg, works for Mount Sinai Medical Center, I never disclose that because it's irrelevant. I've never discussed Wolfson and his pact with either of them. Wolfson also says I should have called him before I wrote or said anything about him and his political action committee. Wrong again. I had all the facts I needed to reach my opinion. Commissioner Wolfson could have made a case for himself today here on Channel 10 at no cost. He chose not to. Not very courageous, I would say. Commissioner Wolfson reminds me of those schoolyard bullies from our childhood the guys who would take lunch money from the smaller kids. Commissioner Wilson isn't going to get my lunch money or yours. And if there's more to report about Relentless for Progress, I will. That's my perspective. Hope you have a great Sunday. Stay informed. Get involved. Have a beautiful day. I got a lot of love.